grade 10s and welcome to this lesson on models and packaging. In today's fast-moving consumer goods world, packaging is very important for merchandise and consumables. Items need to be transported over great distances and often different methods of transports are involved. For this reason, the goods need to be well packaged. Packaging materials are an important cost factor when determining what type of packaging to use. Cardboard boxes are a popular packaging material for transporting tins. Here is a box with 30 tins packed on the bottom of the box. There are 6 cans along the length of the box and 5 along the width. The box can fit 2 layers of tins. Let's calculate the dimensions of the box. How is this done, you might ask? Well, the calculations are quite simple. The diameter of the tin is measured like this. Measuring the diameter of the tin, we get 75 millimeters. Now we can determine the length and the breadth of the box needed for the 36 tins. The calculation for the length of the box is 6 times 75 millimeters. This gives us 450 millimeters. The width is calculated by multiplying 5 with 75 millimeters, which gives us 375 millimeters. So we now know that we need a base of a box having dimensions of 450 millimeters by 375 millimeters. When calculating the measurements of a box to be made, they add an additional 10 millimeters to both the length and breadth for easier packing. We now need to determine the height of the cans so we can get the height of the box. We measure the height of the tin using the ruler again and we find the height to be 109 millimeters. As there will be two layers of tins in the box and provision must be made for a 10 millimeter space. The total height of the box is calculated as follows. 109 times 2 plus 10 for extra space, which equals 228 millimeters. When tins get packed in a box, there is a little space left for easier packing. It is for this reason that 10 millimeters is added to the height needed for the box. We can now work out the dimensions of the box. The length is 450 millimeters, the width is 375 millimeters and the height of the box must be 228 millimeters. Let's take this calculation a step further and calculate the amount of cardboard needed to make one box. Here is the net of the box. This is the piece of flat cardboard that will be needed when making the box. It will be folded along the lines to form the box. There are flaps for the bottom and the top of the box, and an extra piece on side 4 is the overlap to join the sides. Knowing how much cardboard is needed is not too difficult to calculate once you have the area of the net that is going to be needed for the cardboard box. The cardboard started as a rectangle and the shaded areas were cut away. The dimensions of the rectangle are 60 cm by 100 cm. 60 cm times 100 cm equals 600 square cm. Because we can't use the pieces that are cut away, we include them in the calculation. Shopkeepers must use shelving space for maximum display and packing of items. Tins, depending on the shape, can occupy different volumes of space. The more irregular the tin, the more difficult it is to pack on a shelf and is also more difficult to pack in boxes. This picture of margarine in a box that has been cut diagonally clearly displays how the tabs are packed in the box. This is a top view of the margarine tabs in the box. You can see that there are three layers of eight tabs in each box. Other items like milk are transported in crates. This brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Remember to look at the task for this section in the Maps, Plans and Models Tasks video. You will also be able to learn more on our website. 
www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.